Welcome to another edition of the Pilot Report. I'm Emily Biggs. Here's what's going on with Portland Pilot Athletics right now. The UP women's volleyball team split a pair of matches last weekend at the UC Davis Aggie Invitational. Senior Emily Liger recorded a career-high 29 kills in the 3-1 win over San Jose State on Saturday. Next up is the University of Idaho tournament beginning on Friday. I think we have so many small details and every little thing that each person can do and contribute will definitely lead us forward. I mean, our passing and serving, our coach always says, is the most important thing. So as long as we do that well, then we can compete in every game. The University of Portland's Villa Drum Squad made TIFOs for both the men's soccer exhibition game against Linfield and the women's home opener versus Stanford. Check out portlandpilots.com this Thursday for a special feature showing the making of those TIFOs. We do these TIFOs for both the men and the women. We raise them up, um, we go crazy for them, and we really think it makes a difference. We want them to see the TIFO at the beginning of the game and just kind of show them like, we're ready for this game just like you're ready for this game. Let's just go do it and give it our all. The women's soccer team split a pair of matches at the University of Washington Husky Nike Invitational. Sophomore Parks Kendrick netted the game winner for the Pilots in a 1-0 win over Dartmouth last Friday. This weekend, Miami and San Diego State come to town for the Nike Portland Invitational. We don't get down on ourselves, so even if we go down a goal, we are going to work very, very hard to get up a goal um, into that 2-1 position. So I think that's something that we really did well this last weekend, and so that will definitely help carry over into this next weekend. The men's soccer team earned a point on the road with a 0-0 draw at Florida Gulf Coast on Friday. They will host Duquesne, then Siena this weekend. The match Sunday will be at Ronaldo Field at the Nike World Headquarters at 2 p.m. If we just focus on what we need to do um, defensively and then also going forward, I think if we focus on our job, we'll be able to come away with victories because we have definitely enough talent to do that. And it won't be that difficult if we just work together as a team and focus on what we need to do. The Pilots men's cross country team topped Illinois in Kelso, Washington on Saturday. Robert Krebs, Alex Dillard, and Alex Bounds finished first, second, and third for UP. Their next race will be on September 20th at Willamette Oak Knoll Loop Run. The women's cross country team placed second at the Bill Dellinger Invitational in Eugene last weekend. The Pilots finished only behind number six Michigan State and beat number two Oregon. They will join the men's team at the Willamette Oak Knoll Loop Run on September 20th. Thanks for joining us on this week's Pilot Report. Be sure to tune in every Wednesday to see what's new with Portland Pilot Athletics. For the Pilot Report, I'm Emily Biggs.